Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. Today we're going to be talking about complementary and supplementary angles in geometry. So let's start off with the basic definitions. If two angles are complementary, then that means they add up to 90 degrees. This could be examples like 30 plus 60 gets you 90, or 10 and 80 gets you 90. There's a ton of combinations you can have. That's not a big deal. Then you have supplementary angles, which is basically the same idea, except instead of 90 degrees, it's 180 degrees. They add up to 180. So let's go ahead and look at some examples. For the following angles, I'm going to tell you they are all complementary. Complementary. So let's say I have this shape first. I'm going to tell you this angle is 32 degrees, and I would like to know what this angle is. Let's call it x. So since they add up to 90, pretty straightforward, 32 plus x must equal 90. Just subtract 32 from both sides, x is going to equal 58 degrees. And that's how you find the missing angle. And again, if you're unsure, you can always check your work by doing 32 plus 58, and it needs to equal 90, which it does. So check. Very good. Now let's look at another example. For this one, I'm going to have the shape upside down this time. Not that it matters. Let's say this is the dividing line and this angle here is 45 and I would like to find the missing one. Again, we'll call it x. So if I want to find x this time, same idea. It's 45 plus x equals 90. Subtract 45 from both sides. You'll get x equals 45 degrees. What's special about 45 is that it's the only angle who's going to be identical for the complementary angle. In other words, any other number you have, for instance, 30, 60, different numbers, 80, 10, different numbers. In the last example, we had 32, 58, different numbers. 45 and 45 is the only one that the numbers are exactly the same, which is cool. Now let's look at some harder ones. The next two will be harder examples. Let's say for this one, I have the complementary angles divided like this. This one is x, and this one is 3x. And I don't know what x is. I want to solve for x. So how would we do that? Well, remember, these two angles have to add up to 90. The first angle is x, the second angle is 3x, and they have to add up to 90. So x plus 3x, that's going to be 4x. So 4x equals 90. And then you just have to divide by 4. You can plug that in a calculator if you want you will get 22.5 for x. And there's our answer. So again, not so bad, it just becomes an equation. Still the same strategy, add the two angles, set it equal to 90. And now let's just look at one more example of complementary. This one has the same idea. This side's gonna be x plus 20, and the other one's gonna be 2x plus 40. And again, I would like to solve for x. So here I'm saying x plus 20, which is the first angle, plus 2x plus 40, that must equal 90. So combine like terms, x plus 2x is 3x, 20 plus 40 is 60. We are now here, and now it's just a simple algebra equation. Subtract 60 from both sides, 3x equals 30, and then divide both sides by 3, x is going to equal 10. And there's our answer for this one. Now, by the way, sometimes they'll actually ask you, don't solve for x, tell me what the angle is. Well, here's how you do that. For this angle, it's 10 degrees plus 20 degrees, so that angle's 30. And 2x plus 40, well, that's going to become 2 times 10 plus 40. 2 times 10 is 20 plus 40, so that's just 60 degrees. And that's another way you can find the total angle if they ever asked for that instead. Now with that, we're going to look at supplemental. Remember, supplementary angles, they add up to 180, not 90. So for the first one here, we have a 117 degree angle, and this one we'll call x, it's the missing one. So same idea, 117 degrees plus the missing angle x is equal to the total, which for supplementary is 180. All you gotta do is subtract 117 from both sides, it looks like you're going to get 63 degrees for your missing angle. And again, an easy way you can check this is now you can just do 117 plus 63, and you should get back to 180 which we do. So that's it for that one. The next one's gonna be even harder. So for this next one, we have this combination of supplementary angles, and you're gonna see what happens. So let's say this angle is 28 degrees, and I wanna find all three of the missing angles. We'll call this one X, this one Y, and this one Z. Let's find X first. 
So you'll notice 28 and X are supplementary. Why? Because supplementary kind of means they add up to a straight line. In other words, if I take this in blue and I add it to this angle in red, you're going to get essentially a straight line. So what that means is 28 plus X, the missing angle, must equal 180 degrees. Again, same idea, subtract 28 from both sides, you'll get a final answer of 152 degrees. That's our X. Now if you want to find Y, you're going to do the same idea, because X and Y are also supplementary. In other words, X plus Y equals 180 as well, because they're supplementary. And we know X is 152, so 152 plus Y equals 180. Subtract 152 from both sides, and you will get an angle of 28 degrees. You'll notice, why is 28 degrees? That was exactly the angle I gave you at first. That is not just a coincidence. These are actually called vertical angles. Vertical angles are angles where the lines are basically on opposite sides of each other, just like these are. And whenever you have vertical angles, they're always congruent. In other words, they're equal to each other. Now, do you have to use the supplemental angles to prove that? No, you do not. In the future, you can just say they're vertical angles and therefore automatically congruent. As a matter of fact, you can say the exact same thing about X and Z. X and Z are vertical angles. And because they're vertical, they're congruent, they're equal to each other. So since X was 152, automatically, without any work, Z is 152 as well, because they're vertical. And by the way, if you do want to check your answer by doing the supplemental angles, you'll see that the 28 plus 152 for Z will add up to 180, so we're good. And now just one more example we have today. It is if I have an angle that looks like this for supplemental, and let's say this is 7X and this is 2X, and again, I want to solve for X. See if you can try this one on your own. Pause the video, see if you can do it. Okay, I'm assuming you've tried it on your own, and here's the solution. So, one angle, 7x, plus the other angle, 2x, that has to add up to equal 180. 7x plus 2x is 9x, so 9x equals 180, and then you divide by 9, and x is going to equal 20. And there's your answer if it asks for the value of x. If you actually wanted to find the angle themselves, well, 2x is 2 times 20, so that angle's 40. And 7x, that's going to be 7 times 20, which is 140 degrees. And you'll notice 140 plus 40 does in fact equal 180, so it means we're good. So that's going to be it for today's video on complementary and supplementary angles. Hopefully they make sense now. If not, try rewatching it in a little bit. It should make more sense the second time around. And of course, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care, and bye-bye.